Keep your hands in the car. The Supreme Court thinks that even drunks like you need to know your rights. So here they are. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. Don't worry. The, the judge will decide whatever is in your children's best interest. You have to trust us. Trust you? Don't I have any rights? I'm their father. Yes, of course you are. And you always will be. But for right now, the best thing for you to do is to smile and get along. That's it? I'm an American. I'm their father. Don't I have any rights? You have to get on the judge's good side. You start making a ruckus and she get the idea that you're not acting in their best interest. And that'll open a door that you don't want to walk to. Clearly someone needs to read you your rights. They can't take away equal time with your kids without your permission. They can't? And they can't take away your children's rights to be with you either. He's their father. He'll be given visitation when the marriage is dissolved. So they can't give them back. And who are you? Fathers don't visit their children. They parent them. You forget, marriage is an institution of the state. They can do what they want. They can? Not true. The United States Constitution says what states cannot do. And one of those things is to put some parents in a class where it gives them more rights than the others. Until you get divorced. No. The, e the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment does not allow states to treat parents differently because they're married, divorced, or were never married at all. You never told me that. Truth is, the state has to prove that you're unfit before it can treat one parent different than the other. That's very hard to do. Listen, I don't know who this guy is. Marriage is governed by the state. Dissolving marriage is the business of the state. Family courts are just cleaning up your mess. That is true. They have to dissolve the contract. His rights to his children and their inalienable rights to equal time with him can't be changed by divorce. The failure of the marriage can't be used to deny those rights. Oh, I see. You're one of those. The state has an interest in dividing the assets of the marriage, and that includes the children. The judge is there really just to see to their best interest. Assets of marriage, these are my babies. That job is reserved for the parents. And come on, children haven't been considered property in over a hundred years. That's right. Depriving families of their constitutional rights is an arbitrary cruelty for the convenience of the judge. They can dissolve the marriage, but no one has the authority to dissolve the family. They'll always be my kids. That changes nothing. That is the opinion of the United States Supreme Court. Remember them, Counselor? That's right. My kids are, are Americans. We have women's rights, blacks' rights. What about children's rights and parents' rights? The 14th Amendment guarantees that states cannot deny any individual within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws, meaning it can't give one parent rights the other one doesn't have because of divorce. The judge won't see it that way. You have to argue for your constitutional rights now. If the court tries to deny them, then it's your right, it's, it's your duty to appeal. That'll cost him tens of thousands of dollars, and he don't have that kind of money. Uh, no, I don't. It doesn't have to. This is constitutional law. The same arguments that work in Maine will work in Florida. He can file them himself. Oh, he can. <laughs> yes, he can. We can teach him how. 
The Constitution is the law of the land. Put out your hands. These are your rights. Do you know what to do with them? Not really. Can you represent me? No, I'm not a lawyer. I had to do this myself. Really? And if your lawyer refuses to argue your rights before the judge, you'll have to do it yourself too. I will. Get your constitutional arguments on the record. And if the judge ignores them, appeal until you get above the corruption. Appeal until they use the law instead of special interests. That's what I had to do. No one can take away those rights unless you let them. I'm not letting them.